Right, so question 12, uh, it says you can change temperature from degrees in Fahrenheit to degrees in Celsius by using the formula. It tells us that F is the temperature in Fahrenheit and C is the temperature in Celsius. The minimum temperature in an elderly person, person's home should be 20 degrees Celsius. Mrs. Smith is an elderly person. The temperature in Mrs. Smith's home is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. We're asked, and notice the star here again, to decide whether or not the temperature in Mrs. Smith's home is lower than the minimum temperature it should be. Right. Essentially what this question is, it's asking you to substitute. We need to check what 77 degrees in Fahrenheit is in Celsius. And we're going to use the formula they gave us. So, C is going to equal... 5 times the number of degrees in Fahrenheit, which is 77 in Mrs. Smith's case. So 77 take away 32 over 9. And let's tidy that up. 77 subtract 32 is going to be, uh, we'll take a minimum of 5 there, and 4. So 45 over 9. Nine. Some people might try to work out 5 times 45, but actually, there's a slightly quicker way to do it. We can cancel the 9 into the 45. It's going to go in 5 times. So 5 times 5 is 25. So that's the temperature in Mrs. Smith's home is actually 25 degrees Celsius. The minimum temperature it needs to be is 20. Is it lower than the minimum temperature? So the answer to that question is no, it is 5 degrees above, it's 5 degrees above minimum. So it's 5 degrees above minimum. That should get us the full three marks there. The second part of the question is we're asked to make F the subject of the formula. So in other words, I need to make F on its own on the left-hand side and everything else on the right-hand side. Now, lots of different ways of doing this. I'm going to think about how this formula was constructed. So if you start with F, what's happened to F to make this expression on the right-hand side? Well, 32 was taken away from it, first of all. So that would give us the F minus 32 part. Then it seems that it was times by 5. Let's just clear that. It's times by 5 to make the 5 times the f minus 32. Then it's over 9. That means it was divided by 9. So we end up with the 5 times the f minus 32 over 9. That's going to help me do this problem. So what are we going to do to both sides? We're going to work backwards. We're going to times by 9, then we're going to divide by 5, and then we're going to add on that 32. So I'm going to write the, uh, the, the formula the other way around. 5 by 10. F minus 32 over 9 is equal to C. So, like I said, we're going to times both sides by 9, and that's going to cancel out the 9 here, leaving me with 5 times F minus 32 is going to equal 9. 9 times C is 9C. So that's times on both sides by 9. Then we're going to divide both sides by 5. Divide both sides by 5. That's going to give me... It's going to get rid of that 5 outside the bracket, leave me with F minus 32 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, it's going to be 9C divided by 5, or even better to write 9C over... Finally, 
we've got to add on a 32. So I'm going to add 32 onto both sides. That's going to give me F equals, we still have 9C over the 5, but we're adding 32 on.